We're here at ITU Telecom World 2014 in Doha in the state of Qatar, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Yuri Van Geest, who is Managing Director of the Singularity University Summit Europe, SUSE, and he's also Ambassador of the Singularity University, and he's co-author of uh, a book called Exponential Organizations, which is uh, one of, an Amazon bestseller. Uh, Yuri, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Welcome. I'd like to start off by talking about the central theme here at ITU Telecom World 2014, the future in focus. What developments in technology, policy or business do you see as key to the near future? Yeah, so basically there's a lot of change coming our way and the pace of change is accelerating. Uh, we look at biotech, nanotech, neurotech, AI, uh, deep learning, robotics, drones, sensors, solar energy, 3D printing, 4D printing, all these fields are doubling in capacity, let's say every 18 months, sometimes quicker, sometimes slower. So all these fields are beco will become more mainstream in the next five to 10 years. This is a very disruptive force. We haven't seen this before. It's not, not a, uh, an era of change, it's a change of era. That means a lot of stuff that we've learned in the last 100 years will be disrupted in terms of law, policy, organizational models, business models, even strategies. So it's a very interesting time to be in telecom. We're talking about here singularity. What is singularity and uh, what is the singularity and what is an exponential organization? Let's, let's, let's discuss yeah. those terms. Yeah, so singularity is basically the convergence, the combination of different exponentially growing technologies. That the combination. We call it singularity. It's basically a way to describe uh, a new era of change that might supersede uh, our capabilities to understand it uh, to a certain degree. And an organiza exponential organization is an organization that is at least 10x faster, more efficient and more effective than their peers in the same vertical market because they use different ex organizational techniques and exponential technologies to leapfrog their competition. What's your main message to ITU Telecom World participants, uh, uh, the, the ones that are here from the governments and also that will go on, but the ones from ICT industry? Yeah, so I would say it's important to put more focus on innovation uh, in products and services and also in your internal organization and external organization. You need to do more experiments. Uh, to, uh, we say that, we call it, create an exponential organization on the edges of your current business. If you innovate in the core of your business, it won't fly. B because of internal politics, the immune system of the current business will create antibodies and you, you will kill your innovation. If you create innovation on the edges, own bon budget, mandate, independence, reporting to the CEO, not the CFO or middle management because they will kill it or they don't understand it, then you have a, a chance of success in the new world of innovation. And what's the main value of events to you, for example, uh, uh, as such as this, as ITU? Tell it, well, let me just re rephrase that one, one more time. This event is a key in, in ITU's calendar. It's, uh, it's an event which attracts a lot of different people from all sorts of different uh, walks of life. Uh, I wanted to find out from you what your perspective is of this event and uh, why, why you consider it to be important to be here. Yeah, so I like it. It was here also a few years ago and uh, I enjoyed it in Geneva. Uh, it's about inspiration, it's about networking. It's great networking. Uh, I'm here because yeah, it's a great opportunity to present my book, Exponential Organizations, and to share my vision about singularity and exponential technologies. I think it's important to change the world. A lot of leaders are here, so it's a great audience to have a top-down impact to change the world in a better way to improve humanity. And finally, a uh, question that I've been asking everybody here, I know we, we caught up yesterday, but I would like to ask you in this context, what single technological development do you think will have the biggest impact in the next five to 10 years? Yeah, so basically all of those I mentioned before, but if I have to prioritize, I would focus on uh, on short term, let's say today, it's sensors, Internet of Things and quantified self, eh, so M health. I would say midterm, I would focus on uh, deep learning, artificial intelligence algorithms, plus, um, now let's say, let's see, 3D printing. And then longer term, five to 10 years, I would say nanotechnology, graphene. There's a lot of stuff happening there. It's very exci exciting. Bitcoin, especially the, the blockchain. Uh, so it's the, the protocol behind Bitcoin, it will be very important long term, and also biotechnology. Yuri Van Gies, thank you very much indeed for being with us today, and we hope to catch up with you again in the future. Same here, thanks, thanks so much. Lovely. Great, thank you.